the, the future of food is local. What does eating really directly off your landscape look like in a modern sense? It's really about a process of reconnection with the landscape we live in and the people who produce our food, and that can include us if we, you know, if we do the gardening. I work on this farm, and my parents run it, and I help them. I ride a tractor, I play in the dirt. What role do I play? I carry the biggest whip. <laughs> I like hoeing, I find it really peaceful, and it's very, very extreme. And not only that, Andrea, it's glamorous. Someone made some comment that they didn't actually see any fields doing anything in the valley, and why wouldn't you put housing on them? They're just sitting there. So it quickly occurred to me that we needed to remedy the situation. We needed to show people what was going on or tell them what was going on. Slow Food Cycle Sunday is a 50 kilometer free bike ride through the Pemberton Valley to see the local farms, have the local farmers see you as an interested participant in local agriculture, and it all happens from the comfort of your bike. That's what Slow Food Cycle Sunday is. It's a bike ride. Slow Food is an international organization that started in Italy. Initially, it was a protest against McDonald's coming into the Spanish steppes in Rome. Italy already had a beautiful food tradition, and why was it not being celebrated and McDonald's was being welcomed? Maybe fine to welcome McDonald's, but at the same time, recognize what you have already. The 100 mile diet is, uh, in, in the case of my partner, Elisa Smith and I, it was a commitment to eat for one year only from food products raised or grown or otherwise produced within a 100 mile radius of our home. When we buy lettuce that's been flown up from California, we don't pay for and we don't suffer the effects of the, the massive draw off the rivers that they've had to do there to, to irrigate the pesticides and fertilizers used, the, uh, the fuels necessary to transport it up here. You know, the first thing we'll feel is, is uh, we won't get the air freighted foods. You know, we won't get the apples from New Zealand and the red peppers from Israel. And if we don't start to do this by choice, it's going to be forced on us. Uh, so we may as well do it now while, while the options are the most, the freest they're going to be. When you buy local, you know where your food's coming from, first of all, which is probably the most important thing. You can have a, an understanding that what you're buying is what you want. It gives you a little more control over what you're eating. What we find is we're very close to the story of each thing we buy. You know, we, we really know its whole life cycle. And uh, it gives you, it just gives you greater and greater comfort. With events like Slow Food Cycle Sunday, I hope that more people can see the value of keeping farmland and can see that it is an industry that's well established and quite well supported and it has a limitless future. You know, if we really start thinking about things in a from a local perspective, we're going to take care of our land base. We're going to make sure we've got a, a food lands. We're going to be up in arms if our farmers are having to close up shop. Our goal, I guess, right now is to keep on improving the health of our soil. And we feel that, or I should say we know that the healthier the soil, the better the product. That's been our realization, is that we're doing it for taste and not for yield not for how it stands up on the grocery shelf. Um, it's all about taste. By just doing one thing a day that's local, it doesn't have to be a, a large, you know, overwhelming commitment. That's not what it's about. It's really about choosing, making those little choices. Try it for one meal, try it for one potluck with friends, and uh, we think most people will stick with it.
to a local market and bought some fish from a cotton and caught it. Smiling farmers offer treasures, grown with water, sun and hot. I suck samples while you made dinner. We ate it slowly, drown each flavor, satisfaction. 